Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek and Ash. Today we're going to discuss our thoughts and opinions upon a film titled Robocop. If you don't know, though I'm sure most of you do, Robocop is a remake of the original 1980s film that uh, Peter Weller, I believe the actor's name was, uh, and now they rebooted it obviously. And this one stars Samuel Jackson, Michael Keaton, and Gary Oldman. And pretty much it takes the basic concept, it kind of twists it on its head a little bit, but you know, obviously we have, we have a guy that gets blown up and he gets turned into a robotic cop and he takes down criminals in the city. That's pretty much the main gist of that. I don't want to spoil too much, but it's a lot more than that. Uh, so what did you think of Robocop, the remake? Ashley? I really liked the remake. It was really good. Um, comparing it to the original, I mean, I mean, you can't compare it because, you know, you see the similarities, but I mean, it takes it on its own kind of spin also. Yeah. Whenever, like he wear, I like how he wears both of the suits. That was cool. Yeah, he wears, he wears a suit that looks very similar to the original one, the silver, and then, you know, the silverish kind of grayish suit, and then he wears a black one too. And the black suit doesn't look too much different, it's just black. That's the only difference, and I, I like how they, you know, and then at the end, you know, he wears the, the, the regular RoboCop suit again. Did you notice that? How they went back to mm -hmm. the, you know, the, kind of the basic suit? I thought that was really cool. Uh, my favorite person in this film was probably Gary Oldman. I thought he was really cool. Uh, I just thought his acting was good, especially the scene towards the end, uh, Major Spoiler coming up, where he tells them, he's like, hey, he's like, you got you got to get out of here. They're coming to kill you. You find out that the cops are corrupt and all that. I love that scene where he's like yelling at him and he wakes up and shoots the guys. Uh, I like how this one's kind of, a, if, in all honesty, this this one feels a little bit more human. Kind of a, I mean, the, the original did too because of the sympathetic, you know, he, he goes from, you know, being a robot to being kind of a sympathetic robot. And this one was a little bit different. It felt a little more human because right when he started off with the robot, he had sympathy. Unlike in the original when he didn't. In this film, he has sympathy. And it's not till later on do they fully erase that sympathy. And then it goes from being like to the whole like human versus machine. At, at times the human takes over and at other times the machine would take over. So there's there's like this whole sort of, I guess you could say psychological fight going on. A really cool concept when you think about it. This fight going on between like the machine and the human. The machine would take over and the human and then you know the whole concept. I thought a little more science fiction-y I thought. Yeah. Uh, you know, with but it was still really cool though. Yeah, a little more science fiction where, where the uh, which was a good thing, you know, where the machine would take over and then, you know, the machine started to, you know, he started to overwrite. It was impossible. Remember what Gary Oldman said? It started to overwrite the system. Mm -hmm. So I thought it had a little more sort of science fiction element to it. Uh, any other, other things you liked about it? Uh, I, I liked everything. Yeah. You know, it was really cool. Yeah, I thought Gary Oldman was cool. Uh, Samuel Jackson was downright hilarious. I really liked him. He was, he had those nice one-liners towards the end where he was funny and what did you think of Samuel Jackson? Did you like him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought I thought he was really cool in the film, just the way he delivered his lines. And they kind of played it off the they kind of played it off the original, the whole because the, I think the original had a little more satire in it. Uh, but they had the whole, you know, news, you know, and it has some great social commentary in it. You know, should we have robots in our society? I kinda like the whole sort of government political debate thing. I like stuff like that that has that you know, sort of debate, you know, should we have robots in our society, you know, should, you know, what if they killed a kid, you know, I like that, I like the whole, you know, because when I, when I went into Robocop, I was expecting sort of just an action film, you know, with the remake, I was expecting more of just an action film, and then I was very surprised when I got a very human story, you know, almost plays itself off as very realistic at times, you know, very kind of human story, where it makes you feel for the characters, and then they gave it that great social commentary uh, that the original had also. Um, which one do I like more? It's kind of hard to say because they're both, you know, two totally different films. Um, when you think about it, you know, there are some similarities, but, you know, I think this one does kind of its own thing. Um, the, if you want more of a kind of a, 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 a very, you know, bloody kind of film that maybe has more violence, uh, kind of a more classic film for the era, I think, you know, might want to go with the original. But if you want a film that, you know, that's PG-13, so it kind of maybe, you know, goes to a wider audience, you know, uh, did it need to be rated R? I don't really think it would have mattered. It just would have been more bloody or not really too much of a problem. Uh, what did you think of Michael Keaton? The, you know, kind of the, the you know, the, the bad guy, the, you know, the corrupt cop. I think he was pretty not cool. Not a cop, I mean, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I like I how... it was really cool. Yeah, I like how everyone is corrupted. I like... So all in all, I thought Robocop was a pretty, pretty great film. Uh, what would you give it a 10 out of 10 rating? What do you think? Or 1 out of 10? Um... What do you think? 
I'm going to get a solid 10 out of 10 because I, I really yeah, enjoyed I it. Yeah, I give it a solid 10 out of 10. It was really awesome, really cool. Um, me personally, I actually liked it better than the original. Well, see, there you go. Sometimes the opinions differ. Uh, for me, I mean, I think I think both are equally good. I mean, just depends on what you really want, right? Right. Any last thoughts on RoboCop? Once again, thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek for our review of RoboCop. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the page below, and we'll see you guys later. More videos by Centipede Geek and Ash.